guys welcome or welcome back to my channel intros are just like the hardest part and everybody says that and i know that and then i still go in being really awkward also everybody's like in the living room right now so i might be like a little bit shy because it's like i don't really normally film when people are home today we're going to be doing the top 10 romance book recommendations that i have fell in love with and i want to recommend to everybody and i feel like these books have literally pulled me out of reading slumps and have given me that feeling as while i'm reading it i'm like reminded of why i love reading and why i love books so i want to share them with you guys and hopefully they can end up on your tbr or your favorites list because these are literally one of my top tier like favorite romance books some of these even just still play in my head like yeah so i have to share them with the internet i have to share them with you guys and yeah so and i did film something like this in the beginning of my channel i mean i'm still a new but i was more newbish and i only put like three books i think on there so a few of these will be the same ones because i just have to include them in there because they are so i'm kind of just like redoing that video except with more book recommendations compared to the first one that i posted because i have to give these books a shout out because i have to share them i have to share them i have to spread it throughout the world the book world and yeah so yeah let's get into it so the first book i wanted to recommend was something i read such a long time ago it was one of my most favorite romance books ever and it's so i don't know it was just such a good book i don't even know if this is considered a romance yeah it is it is called stolen by lucy christopher and you've probably heard about this i feel like nobody really talks about it anymore i've just kind of seen it slowly coming back into the booktube world but it's such a quick short novel and i think it's like only yeah it's only like 299 pages but this was such a good book i remember reading it i don't know like the beginning of my college years and it was just so interesting and it's pretty much about a girl named Gemma she's writing a letter to her captor her kidnapper and it sounds so weird it's really weird but trust me the book is just so beautifully written and it's so poetic it was just I feel like it was just such a sweet kind of like innocent weird way she was able to capture it in such an innocent way I can see why some people might not like it because it's a little bit weird that it is a letter to her captor but it wasn't it was done in like a, a novel type way where it's kind of pure and kind of sweet and so yeah i feel like this was such an easy book to get into so quick yeah it was just so intriguing this is a young adult book so the characters the way they were portrayed in the story i just felt like they were really fleshed out to where i kind of felt for all the characters in it i just feel like the way she described the environment the setting it was just it was so interesting and i had so much fun with it i do want to do a reread of this because this was actually one of my first favorite books and i want to reread it again and yeah so i definitely recommend it the next one is an old book like literally my book is like ripped and it was sitting on my shelf for the, such a longest time but this is the wedding by nicholas sparks and okay like i know nicholas sparks is already known for all those books but i don't really see people talking about this and it's such an old book the thing about this book is that it was sitting on my shelf for the longest time and i never really fully read it i finally read it recently when i was trying to catch up with some of the books that were on my bookshelf for the longest time so this is about a husband and a wife wilson and jane so noah and ali from the notebook are actually jane's parents and i don't know how in connection this is with the actual movie or the book it was really cool to see noah within this story and for them to talk about Allie as well and I think that's why I kind of read, wanted to read more into it mainly about Wilson and Jane and their marriage and she starts to fall out of love with him and that's something that's so harsh for them to accept and it's pretty much just him trying to express his like true feelings for her and to show her that he is in love with her and his he is like he has always been in love with her he's just not the best at showing his emotions and it, you dive into like the downfalls of their marriage and some of the chances they, they have lost their op missed opportunities their growth throughout life with their family and then i think their daughter ends up having to get married and it just reopens this whole new path of like their marriage and their past and i'm gonna be honest it was one of those kind of slow books but i think it wasn't really slow i think it's just something you have to really just it's more of like an ambiance read the descriptions of the setting was probably one of my favorites and the ending is what made this book so freaking sweet so i would definitely recommend it because the ending was worth it for it like tied the whole book together i would just recommend if you do read this just read it like on a cozy night or like something more of like an ambiance type of feel because the way that she explains like the environment of like the house and you even get to see Noah and Allie's house I don't know it was just it was so peaceful and it was like such a perfect like summer feel I would definitely recommend this book because the ending was what made the whole entire thing and yeah I really loved it the next one is Beach Read and you probably heard about this a million times but to be honest this rom-com got me into reading more I feel like this was one of the first books I kind of started picking up well next to the Harry Potter series I feel like that and then I started 
started picking up the Touch of Darkness series, which I'll go into like after right after this book. And then this, this is what got me into reading. So it's about these two authors, Augustus and what was her name? January. And they're both authors, but they write two different types of genres. And I believe January writes like happy, lovey, romantic novels. And then Augustus writes more of like, I think like horror type of novels, like really intense novels. They're both being neighbors. She has to go back to her hometown and you'll kind of see more into that. And it kept the book like more interesting and you wanted to keep seeing what was going to happen and also their interactions with january and augustus i just thought it was so natural and so cute and it was so freaking funny the fact that they kind of switched genres in order to help each other get out of reading slumps i thought that was so funny because she doesn't write that type of books and he doesn't write that type of books so they ended up having to themselves in each other's perspectives and shoes and that's what made it much more intriguing okay so but this is a touch of darkness by scarlet st Clair, and i did talk about this like multiple times on my channel and i talked about this in my last romance book but I wanted to kind of talk about it one more time because I'm including all the books and there's a whole series on this the first one I feel like was one of the best ones and this was trending all over book talk and TikTok. well I guess it's the same thing but it was trending all over I think I actually saw it on Pinterest I was I don't even have a TikTok, but I saw it on Pinterest and it was one of the recommended books that were kind of trending and a Hades and Persephone's love story and it's input into like a modernized world it's really cool because Hades is somewhat like a business type of person to where he has to make bets and he makes deals with people they just bargain with him dealing with the king of the underworld and then you have persephone who's the goddess of spring they end up making a deal with each other or like a bet and the relationship and the banter also the characters in the story like hecate or hesity i freaking love her she's a queen and like the characters you get a lot of like the greek gods and the goddesses and some of it is pretty accurate with like some of the like i'm not like a super professional when it comes to like greek mythology but i did google a lot of this stuff so i'm like Okay, I trust Google. It kind of seemed semi on point, a dramatic type of way. And it was just such a fun book. I had so much fun. I love how she describes like all the floral settings, the underworld, even the modernized world. I just felt like it was so fun. And then seeing like the business, because I guess the way that it is, is that some of the gods and goddesses, they own like nightclubs and stuff. And so seeing how it was like described and everything was just, it was so fun. And it was like an outgoing like type of book. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this. So the next book is The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. And I did talk about this already. It's pretty much about a girl named Florence and is a writer for like a ghost author. She asked for an extension. Unfortunately, her editor says no and her editor ends up being a really important character in the story. Anyways, long story short, he says no. So she has to go back to her hometown, kind of think of how to write this novel in time and as well as also dealing with her own personal problems and a hometown that she's avoided for so long due to certain reasons. And this was just such a really good book. It's like a paranormal romance. When I did read this at first, it was something that I wasn't, I felt like it was a little slow sometimes, but then it was those stories that just kept sticking in my head and I couldn't stop thinking about it and it's like a disconnected type of feeling but it was such a good disconnected feeling if you read it you'll kind of understand and I just I loved how the whole setting was I loved how the characters were it does kind of take place more in like a I think actually it does take place around April and May I'm pretty sure I just loved how the story was like portrayed and it was so fun and interesting and intriguing because it's a paranormal romance so I definitely recommend that and but it wasn't anything where it's like creepy or eerie it was kind of heartfelt and kind of endearing it was just a really good book it was so much fun and the way that she wrote this into a novel was really interesting so i kind of understand why this book was trending everywhere and i would definitely recommend it okay so the next one is daughter of the pirate king by trisha levenseller i did already talk about this in my other one this is such a fun adventurous book and the romance within it was like <sighs> it was so freaking cute so i would definitely recommend it it was really fun and it's pretty much about alosa she has a mission to sneak onto her enemy's boat to find this map in doing so she ends up meeting some people along the way and and it just unfolds from there and it's just a fun story because you get to see more about her you get to see more about her like history and the characters do start to develop and she's such a freaking badass character and the love interest in this book with her like the way they are together i just felt like it was so fun and this was such a fast-paced read i think i read this like within two days like i felt like i had such a fun time i can't wait to get into the second one because i think there's two i would definitely recommend this if you want like an adventure type of romance because the romance within it was actually one of my favorites i liked it how it wasn't too much and it wasn't too heavy and and it was really sweet but also kind of like their banter together and the way that they kind of interact with each other was so funny like some of their opposing like feelings and thoughts and it was just it was hilarious i love this i definitely will recommend this okay so the last physical book i have i do have a few others but they're just not physical copies but this one is something you've probably heard and i've read it for the first time recently and i'm obsessed like i literally am obsessed with this book but it's love in other words by christina lauren and it was such a fun book it was so cute and i've never like really tabbed books 
books before so this is the first time i ever tabbed anything i ended up tabbing a lot and it's pretty much about two characters macy and elliot they had a past history and they, you kind of do time drums from then until now so you kind of get to see like compare and contrast like, what, what happened and the reason why macy ended up kind of just disappearing and not talking to elliot ever again you see a comparison of their life present day and how different their lives were compared to their lives in the past together and then you kind of kind of start to unfold their own history but throughout the book and i think the unfolding part and finding out why and what happened between their disconnection was one of the parts that kept me wanting to find out and read it the most because i just had to know it was one of those books where it was so easy to get into each chapter was pretty short it was fairly short i just feel like i like flew through this book i had so much fun with it some of the stuff in this was just so dramatic but also you want them you just wanted something just like you if you could just go back in time that's just like one of those books where you're like no like i gotta go back in time gotta like fix this like and yeah it was just i had to know what was gonna happen and the ending was just freaking cute okay and the next book i'm going to recommend is frost by Stephen crawford i'm not gonna go into this because i literally have talked about this a billion times so i'll just kind of link it up here i really love the romance in this it was like a slow burn and it was just I, it was so freaking cute like i don't always feel like like of course i love romances but there's some romances where it's like okay it's just sappy and cheesy and corny but some of it was just like it's so funny and it kind of makes you feel like giddy and like you have like butterflies and you're like oh my gosh it's so freaking cute this book literally had that type of romance within it for me and I just feel like it's something that should be recommended and talked about more because it was so freaking good and not only that but it's like a fantasy romance so it's taking place within like the fake kingdom of like a frost kingdom and it's a title and it's just like it's like a cold ambiance but the way that she describes like the setting was just my favorite part as well as the interactions they have with one another and like you know it's just like the banter in it was so freaking cute and like some of the confusion in it between like oh does he like me or like does he not or like he's like does she like me <laughs> like it was just so freaking cute I would definitely recommend this book okay the next one is it might have controversy because it is a colleen hoover book and i know there's like a controversy with like the type of book she has but this is regretting by colleen hoover and although there's some parts of this book that i don't agree with i feel like in terms of like the romance and the intensity of it and the dramatic aspects of it was just so heartbreaking but also so freaking like sweet and like comforting and it was just one of those books i'm not gonna go in depth about it because this is an office i don't want to give anything away these characters are just kind of getting through something and going through something they're kind of grieving and the way that these characters are developed i just loved how she fleshed out these characters and the way that the relationship is portrayed i just feel like it was just so sweet and also so heartbreaking and like disconnected but also them learning together and i keep saying disconnected but it's just like it's like the best word for me to explain some of these romances where it's like yeah <laughs> like you don't want to ever spoil it there's just so much emotion that go into this book but in terms of romance i was surprised at that this being a romance novel i did not expect it to be a romance novel and if someone told me about it i probably would have been like uh, i don't know if that's something i'm gonna want to read but just trust me give it a try it's really good so the last book i'm gonna go over is actually something i just went over in my reading wrap up but it is under one roof by ali hazelwood and this is a novella so if you're kind of wanting something like quick and easy and like short this is definitely it i kind of went over it in that video the main protagonist and the love interest ends up having to to inherit a home together which they both didn't know about each other so they're kind of both just like why are you here and like why are you here and they're living in the same house and i didn't think i was gonna actually enjoy this book as much as i did it was just so funny and so cute and so interesting and it was just for like a quick read i was really shocked at how much the characters ended up being really interesting and i liked the characters a lot and how they were to each other and like what they talked about and it was super fun i said i would definitely recommend this if you want like a shorter read because it was quick and easy and that's it for all the top 10 recommended romance books i did want to recommend like a lot of different types of books so like different type of genres not just books that were just based solely on like rom-coms and just romances but like different types of like worlds such as like a fantasy book a paranormal romance and short novella i just feel like these were all different variety to choose from and the romance aspects of these books were what made it so much more interesting so i would definitely recommend these if you haven't given them a try and if you have just let me know in the comments what you guys thought of them i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys soon bye <laughs>